A team of researchers from the University of Queensland are one step closer to developing a vaccine for the coronavirus. Professor Paul Young says they've been able to create their first vaccine candidate in the laboratory. What, we're, uh, what we've done is uh, established a um, subunit vaccine candidate uh, from uh, three or four weeks ago when we first heard of the uh, sequence, when the sequence was released uh, from uh, China. Uh, we spent the next uh, 24 hours uh, examining that sequence and deciding uh, what region of the uh, viral genome we would uh, express as a candidate vaccine. And the last three to four weeks has been essentially 24-7 with the team uh, working to develop that. Uh, we've uh, made over 100 different versions of this to select the right one that uh, we're now ready to take forward. OK, so, so just one goes forward, you stop work on, on the others, do you, or do, does some continue as well? Yeah, we're, we're continuing on for uh, this next coming week just to tweak it a bit further to improve uh, the, the yields we're, we're able to obtain. But once we get to that point, we really are just taking one forward, yes. OK, what happens next then with it? So the next stage is uh, we call preclinical. So this is before uh, the vaccine goes into uh, human clinical studies. And that preclinical work uh, comprises a number of different parallel uh, paths. One is uh, also starting this coming week. We're putting the uh, vaccine to, into small animals here at UQ uh, to test that the immune response we're eliciting is the one we expect. Um, we will also then be transferring the vaccine down to our partners in CSIRO, particularly at the uh, protein manufacturing facility in Clayton uh, in Melbourne, and uh, they will be scaling up the manufacture of the protein. It's a, a capacity we don't have here at the university, but they do it at, uh, at uh, CSIRO. And that, uh, that will give us sufficient yields and in sufficiently high, pure enough uh, quantity to be able to take forward into into, uh, into clinical studies. OK, that's very the interesting. You, you're using doing... other resources around yeah. the country. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Um, so... yeah, the the other, other component is, is that the um, An Australian Animal Health Laboratory is also a CSIRO facility at Geelong, uh, are testing at the moment uh, animal models of the disease. And obviously what we need to see is that whether our vaccine will actually prevent disease in those animals. So that needs to be done before we go into humans as well. OK. Um, how long would you expect that process to take? So all of this preclinical work we're hoping to get done by the middle of this year. Uh, and uh, so by um, June or thereabouts, we'll be uh, putting forward uh, uh, human ethics uh, proposals to, to take this vaccine forward into what will be the first or the phase one clinical, uh, clinical study in human volunteers here in Brisbane.